Hey guys, what is up today? Today we are playing VR, virtual reality. That's right. Um, that's the um thingy, and um, I want to go back there. How do we go back there? Another YouTuber, he played this game, and he went back there. And how did he do that? What? <sighs> Replay the title. Showtime. What is? This? I just clicked Showtime. What's this? What's it? Oh my! Can I have this party hat? I'm gonna flip over. No. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience? We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above that laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that yeah, you've I been fed that. over the last several years into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that we can finally hilarious? move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship childish with you ghost. as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. Few scares? We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then you acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Okay, that was showtime. You're right there, right? Oh God, I'm just gonna pray for a second. I'm just gonna pray. God, Jesus, um, Merry Christmas. And make sure I don't pass out in this. Oh, come on, my hand. Let's do. I want to do that. That. Okay. Let's just sit down and relax. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no. It looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. I know, this one? It's scary. He's huge. You gotta get up. <gasps> he twitches. No, 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 no. I'm shaking. Look, my hands are literally shaking. I can't believe I actually finally get to get this close to Bunny. Go 
No, I can't! Why? He's too scary! If I fail this, he's gonna jump scare. This is not easy, okay? okay why did you get that game? You fail, huh? No. If I die. No, 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 no. No. Oh, yeah, do you wanna try it? You'll do it? Okay, but you gotta close your eyes. Oh. But then how do I grab it? Oh, the the back, the back. Right here. Ooh, he's he has big teeth. What? So you mean like a get up? Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. <laughs> Cupcake, will you come with me? Return to menu. Wait, no, I want to restart. That wasn't so bad. I mean, the jump scare wasn't scary, so thank goodness. Did not pop out. Yeah. Do it. Do the thingy. Just kidding with it. Oh yeah, I'm sitting on my couch. When I did this, it was like moving. Oh, I'm not doing it. Just that. I mean, that, that, that wasn't so bad. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. That was my left. Yeah. So what happened? You lost? Yeah. I just stopped. <laughs> yes. Guys, this game. Welcome back is to Parts and Service. Oh no, Do not try it looks this. like I'm Bonnie's like guitar is out of age. tune and this must be really recalibrated. Or just First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove- Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Yeah, my love. Firmly. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. 
Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. So you mean that was right? <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'm gonna do the FNAF too, okay? <sighs> no, not 9 1. This one. By the way, guys, this is hard. Oh, I'm not wear a mask. Gee, survive till 6 a.m. Push buttons. Five nights at Freddy's too. Wear a mask and survive until 6 a.m. Boom. So, do we got this? Uh, hello, hello, hello. Where's the mask? Uh. Hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. Family they spent fun? a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. Is so? Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night, and yeah. even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. I could hear that. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night what mode. The? So no. when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. No. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music There's a box hall. over by the fire counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, Switch over to the prize counter Where's the hole? and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about robots seeing you as an endoskeleton without its costume on and wanting to stuff you in the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of what the important the... modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
don't scare me. That was not scary. FNAF 1, it's really scary, guys. <sighs> you know what? I give up. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next Are video. you having fun yet? That's great to hear.